Hey spinning friends, we're doing another watch my hands video and this time we are going to work on getting a little bit of loft in our comb top. So we can see this is comb top, everything's straight and aligned, but we want to get a little bit more loft into it. We don't necessarily need all the loft that we would get from a roving, but we don't want it to be quite as dense as it would be if we just spun straight from the tip. So we're not spinning from the tip and we're not doing any special draws here. We are just going to do short draw. So I'm just going to take a bit of it right here and I'm going to fold this. So I can fold this over my finger like this and gently hold it in my hand here with my three other fingers and my thumb while my index finger is right in the middle of the fold. And that's called spinning from the fold. And I can kind of tease a little bit off of the tip of my finger and get it caught up in there. because I've already been spinning a little and then spin from that. And that starts jumbling up the fibers. It's not, you know, making a fiber of full roving or anything, but it does jumble up the fibers so that it gives me a little bit more air and loft. Now, if spinning from the fold off of your finger isn't comfortable or you're just not ready for that yet, you can just simply fold it, have it folded, and do short draw right from the fold just like that. Because just by folding it, it does jumble up the fibers a little bit more, and what that does is adds more air. A little more air, a little bit more loft, and that's what you're looking for sometimes. Sometimes you just don't want it to be quite as dense. You want it a little more airy, a little more lofty. So even if you're spinning short draw, just like I'm doing here, I've added a little bit more air and loft to it just by folding it and doing that just by jumbling it up just a little bit. And you can't always tell right when you're working from the yarn. It just doesn't always show up until you have finished it off and you've washed it. But guaranteed, it does change it. So let me pull a little bit more out. Set that aside. Another way to get everything a little bit more airy is to take the piece of combed top that you had, fluff it out a little bit, and then roll it. So it's kind of been given the name faux lags or fake roll lags. So I've rolled it up. You can see that I've it was straight this way and it does unroll. So it's straight this way and I'm gonna roll it this way. I don't want to roll it the other way. I want to roll it this way, the unnatural way, the way that it wasn't uh, necessarily milled to be done. So that way you can see that all my fibers are still this way, but I'm going to spin from this end or this end. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to tease out a little bit, and you can see that it has instantly kind of fluffed up that fiber and kind of made it a little bit more jumbled. And that's exactly what we were going for. We don't want to spin straight from the end. We want it to be a little bit fluffier, a little bit loftier. And that's where we're at. So let's see. There we go. You can still spin short draw from it. Now, I don't know if you've noticed the one thing about doing this, spinning from the fold or making up the Rolex, and I chose the piece of fiber that I took very carefully for this reason to show that it does change the color. So if you're spinning from roving and it goes from one color to the next to the next to the next it's got a color variation you can keep those color variations if you're taking this and splitting it up and you end up having a chunk that has the two colors in between and you're folding it you're going to be blending those colors so if you are trying to keep the colors separate 
or you don't want the colors to be blended up too much, then you don't want to be doing something like this. You want to make sure everything is more separate. You can separate out the color chunks and do them very separately without having these variations in between. If you want the colors blended more, this is perfect for that. And just make sure that you've got some of each color in there and it'll help blend all those colors for you. So a little bit of color blending and a little bit of adding loft to your yarn. So I hope this helps in those of you that have asked about getting a little bit more air and a little bit more loft in your yarn. Have a happy spinny day, guys.